Hey guys, so today we are going to be reviewing the Naked Petite Heat Palette by Urban Decay. Um, if you're new here, hi. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn it whatever color it turns. I think it just stays red, honestly. Um, and if you are back, hello again. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me. Um, basically, if you want to see how I did this eye look and what I really thought of this palette, just keep on watching. Or petite heat, however you want to say it. Um, I just got this in the mail. I was one of the first ones to order it. I actually got it right when it came out by accident. Um, I was sitting there on the um, little uh, Sephora.com app. This cute thing right here. And um, <laughs> I it just popped up and it was like brand new just in. And I was like, oh my god, I need it. I do not have the Naked Heat palette as I don't really have use for the Naked Heat palette, honestly. Um, it's just a little bit too much red for me. I have a lot of red palettes already. But I'm going to go ahead and read you off what exactly this little puppy is. So it's a compact eyeshadow palette featuring six all new shades, scorched, neutral matte, inspired by Urban Decay's Naked Heat. Now, um, like I said, I've never owned the Naked Heat palette, so I have no clue what it is. Like, I know what it is, but I don't know how it is or how it works or how creamy the shadows are or anything. So this is going to be a first for me. Um, this one hot little palette with five matte shades and for lid crease liner plus one demi matte shade for a highlighting naked petite heat has everything you need to create looks that range from soft and sultry to flat out fire we're gonna see we're gonna test that claim the ultra compact packaging was made for travel. It fits in your smallest purse. That's very true. I've already actually tried that. So I mean, <laughs> that statement is true. But don't let its petite exterior fool you. It contains full-size pans of Urban Decay's legendary eyeshadow and a mirror albinizing with burning roses. This hot commodity is bound to be your go-to palette. I really hope so because I really love the shades in this palette. I mean, look at how beautiful those are. Because you don't, because you deserve serious saying power and shadow that doesn't flake or fade out on you, every shade in Naked Petite Heat contains a UD pigment infusion system. The prepared, prepared, I don't even know how to say that word, I'm going to skip it. The blend of ingredients that gives each shade its velvety texture, rich color, and blendability. I agree with that. I feel like these are really blendable, like I've done the swatches already. Um, but we're gonna really see. So basically, this contains the six shadows in shades Inhale, Vibrate, Hot Spell, Wild Thing, Heist, and Strike. So, um, I think these shadows are super pretty colors. We're gonna see if we can make a look with them though. Alright, so now that we are zoomed in on the eyeballs, we're gonna go ahead and take the Naked Heat. I've already laid down a base color, so I'm not going to use a base color out of here, as that probably won't work for me. I feel like all of these colors are a little bit darker than my skin tone. We are gonna take a blending brush. This one is clean, even though it looks freaking dirty. I promise you, it's not dirty. And we're gonna dip into vibrate and let's see we're gonna do two like this oh okay okay yeah there's pigment wow let's see if the fallout is there though no there's not there's not much fallout at all that's exciting okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this in our crease Alright, so yeah, this is like my, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. It's a good transition shade, y'all. If you're a little bit darker than me and I'm super white, it would probably be like your skin tone color, which it would be a good base color for you. Um, but this is definitely just a shade darker than my skin. 
So we're just going to put that in the crease. The next shade we are going to use on the same brush is Hot Spell, and that's the shade right here. So we're just going to dip into that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's going to go in the crease as well, just to kind of darken that up. Oh my gosh, that is super pigmented. I don't know if you can see that, but um, hi, pigment. <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm going to have to blend that out a little bit more because that is super pigmented, y'all. Okay. Wow. I'm really shook right now. Okay. We're just going to take a shadow brush and kind of blend out those edges. I already feel this being a little bit of a peachy look. Um looking at the colors in the palette and looking at my eyes already it's going to be more peachy i'm not mad about it though we're going to go ahead and dip into this color and place that on the inner lid with the same brush or the outer lid i guess you could say but like inner this way and see what we can um come up with So this is definitely a pigmented color, but it's also very, very buildable. You see with just one swipe, I was able to get so much pigment onto the lid. So we're just going to keep on kind of building that up. And I'm pressing it into my eye as well. I'm not swiping it because um, I feel like that might mess up some of the pigment. I'm probably wrong, but I don't want to mess up the pigment this time. We're going to go in with Heist which is this beautiful brown red shade. And we're just gonna put it on our inner corner lid part. We're gonna see what we can come up with. So I feel like Heist is a little bit chalky. Um, almost like, I don't know if you can see, but right here, the pigment is not sticking and it's kind of bunching up. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm not, I'm not having much fallout. If I'm having any, it's just like right here from Heist. But I'm not mad about it. I just wish these pigments would have bunch up like this. Because they're so pretty. Maybe I need to do that. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to take a little bit of Strike, which is the last color in the palette. And we're just going to do a few stripes. Oh, okay. There's a lot of fallout in these last few colors. I don't know if you can see that, but there is um, quite a bit of fallout there. We're just going to put this in the outer corner. And we're going to blend in just a minute. Don't worry about that. There's so much fallout. Let me, let me dust off this fallout. It's making me mad. Alright, so now we are going to take our brush and it has a little bit of wild thing on it still and we're just going to kind of blend these colors upwards as much as we can. Don't be making me change my Sephora review, oh my gosh. These colors are so pigmented but I feel like some of these are not worth it. I'm just saying, like especially Heist, I can just see like where it's sticking and it's sticking in all the places you don't want it to stick. Where's my brush? We're gonna blend out these edges right here. Okay, so I put on some mascara. We're gonna go ahead and rate the palette a eight out of 10. I just really dislike the last two shades. They're super pigmented, they're super pretty colors, but the fallout and the flakiness of it wasn't great. Um, we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. Um, 
I don't do much during the day, so it should wear just fine. I didn't use any eye primer, although I did have a MAC Painterly paint pot on before I put this on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you are still watching, please subscribe, like, and comment.